got to the lake. Well, actually the river. This river is dammed up, right? It flows from left to right on this way. And it's dammed up miles and miles and miles down that way. And uh, anyway, it's still a river, even though it's the very, like the back end of a lake. But when, whenever I say I'm, I'm going to the lake or the river, you know, sometimes I call it the lake, sometimes I call it the river. Um, get my tackle box. I got my little GoPro in here. Got my worms in the bucket. And I got my three fishing poles. I got work to do to a couple of them. But uh, I'll go down here and find me a nice shady spot. Sit down here. And uh, did I lock my car? <laughs> Let me lock my car. I don't want anybody to sneak in behind me and take stuff out of my car. Uh, I drove my white Honda. There we go. It's locked. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to sit in a spot that I've never sat in before. I'm going to sit right down here. I'm going to leave my worms in the shade. I'm just going to fix up one pole for worm. And I'm going to send it straight out there and just see what happens. And if I can catch a couple of fish today, then I'll go home and I'll do a catch and cook. So, okay. Which one? Okay, the green one has the big hook on it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the green one's got... Whew, Anyway, it's got a sinker on it and a, uh, ah, I got, I got guests, guests coming in. But anyway, an old, old hook with, with an old worm on it. See if I can get this thing going. Oh, gotta let out a little bit more. Catch any fish? Oh, I just got here. Just got here? I hadn't had a chance to catch anything yet. I caught about a five pound cat right there yesterday. Right here? Yeah, out towards there. We got the same, got the same tackle box. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh. Yeah, I'll call cool. that out. 20 yards out. Yeah. What yeah. were you using as bait? Nightcrawlers. Nightcrawlers? Cool. What are you using as bait? Minnows? Yeah. Here. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. I see that. <laughs> what is it? Well, subscribe. Uh, Back 40 Bandit. Back 40 Bandit? Back 40 Bandit. Back 40 Bandit. Yep. Yeah, I caught a, a nice one out there yesterday right here. Yeah. I don't do much fishing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. It was right out there kind of about well, probably about 15 yards out yeah because i threw and the current dragged it and it set yeah and i mean i had it right there on them rocks yeah and i'm talking about i got a here you go it's a time lapse video but oh wow i wish i had one of them gopros when i called that one i it, got this at walmart oh really it put up a hell of yeah. a fight see it oh yeah it was a nice one wonderful that's yeah. glad i'm glad to see that yeah, so they're in here. That's the second one I've ever pulled out of here, and I've been fishing here for two years. Well, I figured on these very, very hot days that we wouldn't do very well. Mostly I catch, like, drum or sauger. Mm -hmm. There's little snakes around here, so be careful. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a snake already. Well, not today, but yeah, a few a weeks ago. Drum and turtles are kind of bad. Yeah. yeah. They're kind of bad, but yeah, good luck to you, man. But Thank I was you. fishing on worm. You said back 40 bandit. Back 40 bandit. I'm James. Hi, James. How you Debco doing? Debco 202. That's what we're using. 202s. That's a 202. Yeah, we love him. Well, I got a couple of different types here. You got a 404. That's a big boy. Yeah, he's been sitting a long time, so I got I got to loosen him up. The line doesn't want to come out. I had a 1953 Zebco 303, and yeah. I threw it yesterday, and I stripped the gear on it. I'm filming. 
You don't, do you mind being on my video? No, I'll give you all consent. Go ahead. All right. You got your own? No. No? Well, you need to do it, man. We were thinking about doing it. It's them. actually a lot of fun. We come down here and go fishing a lot. But they're in here. They're big ones. There's, there's, I've seen big I, ones pulled out of here about this time. I, I, I started with my, my cell phone. Anyway. Just just my regular cell phone. It's got that camera yeah, there. The and, and then that little camera there. Yeah. And that's what I started really? on YouTube What's with. What's your bait? I, I just picked out some worms out of the yard. There you go. That's what I. That's what we yeah. catch. We've tried shad. We tried chicken liver, hot dog, Kool Aid. We don't get nothing on that. Worms. That's all we. That's all we catch stuff on. Worms. Yeah. And it's either it's, we caught big shad out of here, big drum. Okay. That's my fiance Amber. Hi Amber. And uh, but yeah, this the first catfish I ever caught was about a year ago. A little yellow catfish. Yeah. Then yesterday I caught that one. So. Yeah. All right, we're gonna head on down here. Good luck that's to great. you, man. Nice meeting you. I'm gonna subscribe to your channel. All right. All right. Thanks. See ya. I'm going to put me some worms on here. <laughs> If I can catch me a catfish, I'll take it home and cook it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that we can catch some good catfish here. I'm going to load this thing up and I'm going to cast it out and see what I can get. Oop, drop my worm. Come back here, worm. All right, yeah, my fingers are yucked up, but I'm going to cast this out and just let it sit and see what I can catch. Let me wash my hand off. All right, let me see if I can catch something here. Oop. <laughs> I'm going to reel him back in try that again. Which kind of makes it, it kind of sits up and kind of gets uh, to where it doesn't want to work right. You gotta like, there we go. I think that's better. I'm just gonna let that sit. If I can catch something there, then, then I can catch something there. All right. And they're over there fishing off the pier. This one just sat. I'm gonna put it in the bucket. Sit him in the bucket, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my other pole together. See if I can get that other that bigger pole going. This this pole here's got a, a broken tip on it. I don't know how don't know how I broke that tip off. But I'm gonna have to cut that line and kind of redo this a little bit. I guess this will be my, my, my end thing there. Um, but we'll see. Let me, let me look at my tackle box, see, see what I got.
Let me work on this. I'm gonna work on this pole for a little bit, and then I'm gonna. All right. What I did was I uh, got that off the end there, the the hook and the sinker, and I just took my pliers and I, I went ahead and just snipped it here, and this will be my my end loop. That other piece was only about that long, so it's, it's not going to matter that much with that being the, the end loop. So this one will work perfect. And there's no way I could just stick this back on there and have it work right, so I'm not going to worry about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find me a... Uh, I'm going to find me a sinker. I'm not sure exactly what size sinker I want to put on there. I might do one of these. It'd be a good, nice, hefty. Get it out there and give me some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Give me some uh, pull to, to get that line out of the, give me some pull to get that line out of, out of the, uh, the reel. So I'll just put that on there like that. Run it through there a couple of times. I guess you can see that. I'm just going to run it through there a couple of times. There we go. And then I'm going to put a, a, uh, a hook on there. I'm going to get me a big hook because I'm going to throw some, uh, some of these big... Uh, I'm going to throw some of those big worms on there. Alright, where's my big hooks at? Ow. There's a couple of big hooks in there. <clears throat> there they are. I'm going to try one of those right there. My grandfather used to show me how to tie knots for fishing line. But you know, it's been so long. Come on, tie. There we go. That's on there. Okay. in the bucket find me a big worm there we go got me a big worm
Let's see if I can get this thing to turn it out a little bit. Might need to get it wet. Feels too tight in there. Yeah, damn it. Shit. Okay. sitting here messing with my fishing pole, my line, trying to get it to come out of the reel a little bit better. For some reason it wants to stick and not come out very well. So I'm just kind of letting it loose a little bit, walking back, letting it uh, kind of come out a little bit. And then I'm going to reel it in and recast out, maybe I'll get it out further. There. I'm going to put this back on here now. I'm going to reel it back in. This is my Zipco 404. The darn thing set up so long it just doesn't want to work right. I think I see a tomato plant right there. Alright. Let's see if I can get this thing up without it snagging or something. Let me send it out a little bit further. Yeah, when you know it, something's already stripped my worms off. That's why you need to get it out further. Because those little fish will sit out there and just eat every little bit of it off. I think I'm going to set up my other one. With a tiny, tiny tiny hook so that I can do a uh, anyway I'm gonna set up a tiny hook there we go but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some worm back on this I'll bet that other one's already stripped off too see the little Beady fish out there will just eat these worms right off the hook and you wouldn't even you don't even know it. You never see the thing move. You never see anything happen. Because they're so small. They all take little tiny bites. And they get your worm. If you can cast them out much further, then uh you know, you get out to where the bigger fish are. The bigger fish will just swallow it. Right. See if I can get this thing out there a little bit further. Oh yeah. Much better. Alright, good. Tell he's sinking down to the bottom. Oh, okay, see? See how the line went droop? That means the pole 
where the, the, the line hit the bottom down there. Definitely deeper out there. Alright, I'm going to set it here on these rocks that my friends left for me. I'm going to see if I can catch me a big one. I'm just going to move that one sitting right there. So I'll get him out much further in much deeper water. So maybe those little fish won't bother it too much. I'm going to ruin the other one because I'll bet the fish done stripped it too. But those tiny fish done stripped it. Some more worm on there and cast out, see what I can catch. And then I'm going to set up my little blue pole. Got two poles out. I've got them uh, out deeper. More worms on them. I'm gonna set up that little blue pole down there. And I'm gonna use it to see if I can catch some brim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that little that, that little worm lure off the end of it. And I'm gonna put something else on there. Let's see what I can do. There we go. Let's see this out. I tell you, I've really got to do some work to these darn poles. Get out of there. <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, your fishing poles set up in the shed for several years. It's usually a good idea to you know, just go ahead and do some maintenance on them before you go fishing. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you just got to go fishing and you don't need the hassle of trying to, trying to get your lures to work right and your fishing poles to work right. So let me see what I can do here. String off right there. I don't need too much extra string hanging out. There we go. And then I want to put a, a sinker on that. Because sometimes a sinker just works so much better than a. Oops. Pull that back down. Sometimes a sinker works so much better than no sinker. 
Hope she get it out there. I need to find a little sinker. I don't want to put too big of a sinker on it. that up throw it on there let's see what I can do throw it on that heavy part there and squish it down there we go now I got a little sinker on it that little sinker will help it help it go out a little further and also help it swim better I think maybe a little bit better at least better than what it was let me see if I can get this thing out here. Oh yeah, a little bit. I think I'm lying all the way to the right there. My, my line to the right there kind of moved a little bit. I have to keep a good eye on that because it's sitting in the bucket and uh, if a big fish gets on that it'll pull my bucket over. So I don't want that to happen. I certainly don't want to lose my fishing pole. Threw it up in the weeds. I lost my lure on the little blue pole, so I, I put a little bitty hook on it, a little sinker, put some worm on it. Because I know there's a bunch of brim out there just stealing bait. So I'm gonna cast this out and see what I can catch. Oop, that didn't go very far. Let me try that again. Yeah, I'm gonna take these poles home and do some maintenance on them, get them to work a little bit better. The heck did it go that time? Okay. I ended up slinging off my worm. I did. I slung my worm off. How the How did I do that? Oh my gosh. I didn't sling it hard enough. I wonder if those fish got that that fast. All right, let me throw another one on there. Get me another worm. <laughs> That's a very big ass worm. Some of these worms are too big. All right, let me see what I can do here. Let's see if I can get this little. If I can get this little hook out there. The best way to do it is just throw it right into the mouth of that big fish that's out there waiting on me. But I know I can't do that, so I'm just going to do little bits at a time. Alright. Cut him off, throw him back in here. Let's see what I can do. worm back on there. 
Maybe this time I can actually. Maybe this time I can actually catch something. Oh, well, that's a little bit better. Not a real, not a whole lot better, but a little bit better. Just gonna let it sink down, and see what happens. I like to whisper because uh, you know I've got my neighbors are out here fishing. I don't want to bother with them. Let's see if I can catch something on this one. I was getting a bite down here on this this little hook that I put the worm on and put out there. Thing picked it up and moved it. And when I when I pulled the pole back, he was on there, but then he let go. Maybe he'll come back after and get it. Felt like a little tiny fish. Maybe he wasn't quite big enough to to get that tiny hook in his mouth. But in the process, he probably stripped my worm off of it. But I'm going to let it sit there for a little bit just to see. Because you never know, he may, may come back for it. Some little fish out there just messing with it. I can feel them on the end of the line. I can tell they're little bitty because they're they're just taking little dips out of it. I'm trying to strip that worm off the hook. Little bitty fish. Little tiny, little bitty fish. <laughs> Fishing over my own line there. Okay, I'm gonna put a float on this. I like to use a bobber sometimes. Sometimes bobber really, really comes in handy. I might check those other lines here in a minute. Let me a float bobber. See what I can do now. Cast it out there. Let's see how well that works. Going over another line. We're getting in. All right, casting back out. Guess that's going to have to do. I 
need to put him on the other side of the other lines. Because the current's taking him right over. Right over there. Alright, a little bit better. And float over there to where uh, those other fish were messing with it a little while ago. Let's see what happens. I might have it too deep. I might need to make it make it go a little look at it, see it moving? Yeah, see it? They're messing with it. They take it under and I'm gonna get them. Oh I got him. No. Oh I lost him. Darn. Okay. Check make sure my worm's still there. Yeah, my worm's still there. Alright. And throw it back out there. There we go. Yeah. Okay, he's out there. We'll wait and see what happens here. See a fish messing with it again. When the bobber moves like that, that means a little fish is underneath it messing with it. 